kids and jam friends welcome to part two of this week's sermon message so when joseph found out that um about how mary was going to have this baby jesus he decided not to marry her anymore but one night when he was sleeping an angel appeared in his dream the angel told joseph not to be afraid to take mary to be his wife when he woke up from this dream joseph decided to obey god very soon after that mary and joseph did get married but then they got some bad news the Roman emperor has ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. We must all return to our city our families are from to be counted and pay our taxes. That's what they, they heard. Joseph's family had come from the city of Bethlehem. Bethlehem was important because it is the city where King David was from. Nearly 700 years earlier, the prophet Micah said that the Savior would be born in Bethlehem. Do you see how God is working to have his plan come together? God was going to use a Roman emperor to make his plan happen and become true and to keep his promise. God keeps his promises. Bethlehem was about 70 miles away through hills and valleys and rocky places. It took them days, but finally Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem. The Bible tells us that while they were staying in Bethlehem, the time came for Mary's baby to be born. Because there were so many people in the city, it was really hard for Mary and Joseph to find a guest room and all the rooms were full. There was no nursery, no crib or cradle. The only place available for the baby was a manger, a kind of a box that animals eat out of. A manger is a strange place to put a baby, but it was all they had. Mary wrapped baby Jesus in strips of cloth. As Mary and Joseph looked at the tiny baby, their faces must have been full of joy. They must have been amazed that the Son of God would be born in such a simple and unlikely place. He could have been born in a palace, like a castle, as a mighty king. But the creator of the universe, our God, chose this place so that even the very poor people could understand his love. While this wonderful event was going on in Bethlehem, something unusual was happening outside the city. Some shepherds were in the fields watching over their sheep. To them, this was just another ordinary night. Suddenly, the dark night was lit up like daytime. The shepherds saw a beautiful shining angel. The angel came to tell them the wonderful news that the promised savior had been born. So the shepherds wanted to see baby Jesus, but how could they find him? The angel told them where to go. As soon as the angel told them they would find um, that they would find the baby wrapped in the cloths, lying in a manger, the whole sky filled with many, many angels, all singing praises to God. They were saying, glory to the God in highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Wow, they must have been singing, not like me is shouting, but the angels were singing praise. Then the angel left, the angels left, and the sky was dark and quiet again. The shepherds were super excited. The promised savior had finally come, just as God had promised. Without hesitation, the shepherds hurried off to Bethlehem to find the baby. They found Mary and Joseph and saw the manger and baby Jesus lying there, just as the angel had said. The shepherds were amazed at what they had witnessed. They praised God for all that they had seen and heard. Then they started telling other people about the good news of, of baby Jesus. Next week, we're going to learn about the wise men who studied stars and King Herod, who wasn't a very good king. So tune in next week for your sermon message. And hopefully I will see you all during BBS check-in this weekend. Bye.